Hello everyone, this is Yash Saxena and you're watching Swadeshi VIP and in this video, we are going to talk about grass tetany. Grass tetany, also known as hypomagnesia tetany, grass stagger, lactation tetany, wheat pasture poisoning or winter tetany is a disorder of magnesium metabolism in ruminants. It is a major metabolic problem affecting dairy cattle in the temperature regions of the world when they receive inadequate available magnesium in the diet. The disorder has been known for well over 100 years. Low level of magnesium in the blood are linked to the very lethal condition known as grass tetany. All types of cattle are susceptible to grass tetany, but older cows with calves at foot in the winter and spring are especially vulnerable. Animals that are excessively thin or obese, as well as Angus cattle and their crosses are more prone to this disease. Before moving forward, let's talk about the causes of grass tetany. Cattle have reserves of magnesium in their muscles and bones, but they are not easily accessible or used when needed. Since the animal continuously loses magnesium through its urine, feces and milk, it must be provided in diet in order to satisfy daily demands. A cow needs a consistent dose of magnesium during peak lactation, 6 to 8 weeks after calving, to replenish the significant quantity lost from the body through milk. The magnesium loss in milk doesn't change even when magnesium content of the meal is low. Main causes are magnesium levels are lower in cool season grasses and cereal than in legumes or weeds. Levels are low in grass grown on leached acid sandy soils. Levels are low when potash and nitrogen fertilizers are used and growth is vigorous. High moisture content in grass causing rapid gut transit and low uptake reduced absorption of magnesium resulting from high rumen potassium and nitrogen and low rumen sodium low energy intake. Fasting or sudden changes in feed, bad weather especially in winter storms, stress such as transport or yarding, low roughage intake that is young grasses have low roughage and often poor palatability. Low intake of phosphorus in soils are the causes of grass tetany. Animals with grass tetany are frequently discovered dead. There can be footprints on the ground next to the animals that show it was leg paddling before it died, lying on their side with stiff outstretched legs that thrash backwards and forwards. Early warning indication include stiff walk, heightened alertness and occasional irritability with muscular twitching. Animal may first look angry before galloping, shouting and finally staggering. The soul system in less severe cases can be a change in the animal's personality and trouble handling it. Treatment of affected cattle includes, as it is said, magnesium levels in the blood must be raised. The greatest outcome are obtained when a calcium and magnesium solution is administered intravenously to animals. Producers can inject a calcium and magnesium solution beneath the skin in the urgent situations where speed is of the essence. To avoid relapses, farmers should also provide afflicted cows oral supplies of magnesium. These consist of using magnesium oxide powder to sprinkle over pasture or hay. Block magnesium lick capsule with a delayed release adding soluble magnesium chloride or magnesium sulfate to hay or silage. Adding magnesium pellets or concentrates. Your vet, a feed distributor or a firm that provides rural goods all carry these things. Let's talk about the prevention and control measures. Cow herders should aim to eliminate factors which reduce magnesium absorption and provide a magnesium supplement. Some immediate actions are increased energy and roughage intake. Good quality hay or silage are suitable. Pellets or grain can be added if introduced carefully and cattle are accustomed to these. Provide salt if natural source is not available. Move lactating cows to high legume and high dry matter pastures. Provide shelter, reduce stress, provide magnesium supplements are some of the immediate actions. Long term actions include correct soil acidity with lime or dolomite. Dolomite contains some magnesium. Plant clovers, apply phosphate fertilizers, limit potash and nitrogen application until soil acidity is corrected and clovers are established. Plant tree lines for shelter. Keep good record to inform future management. For problem products, consider pasture leaf analysis for magnesium and potassium. Consult your vet for the further advice. These were some of the preventive measures and treatment measures. If you like our video, please subscribe to our channel and stay connected with us. Thank you.